Hi there. Uh, this is Sheila, and um, welcome back to the Painted Pig Studio. And before I get started, let me just say, um, yay! We got to 50, and my camera is trying to lean again. <laughs> Sorry about that. And so, I would like to welcome uh, in, and give hugs and kisses to India W, our 50th subscriber. Thank you, India. You put us there. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you uh, hit the, the um, notification bell so you will see this video and uh, know how much I appreciate you. So, uh, I got this idea. And I don't know how much of it I can get done or, or you know, I may have to just keep cutting, cutting it off and back on. We'll see. Um, so, I'm sure it's not an original idea. Um, it's, it's probably a combination of, of uh, others, other people's um, ideas. And that's okay. Um, and like I said, I'm sure it probably has been done this particular way. But uh, we're just going to give it a try. And I haven't even done one, so I don't even know if it's going to work yet. And if it doesn't, well, that means this will, video will not go. This video will be deleted and never seen by human eyes. <laughs> so, come to me, my bone voter. There we go. Nope, it went crooked. That's not good. See if we can we can uh, fix that. Okay, started off on a good foot, didn't I? Uh huh. Yeah. See, I'm just gonna have to trim it. And what I did was I used my we are memory keepers uh, deckled edge to tear, and so I might as well. Even though it's wet, <laughs> I might as well go ahead and re-tear it all the way around, it looks like. Sorry. I hope I'm in frame. I've just not been very good at that lately with that leaning camera. Uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I will be able to buy a for real video camera soon. This is just my little Canon, see, there it goes, um, power shot that I've had for years and years. Uh-uh. And apparently I need a new tripod, too. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't keep it. I can't make it bind. Okay. So here we go. Um, trimming this down. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I think it's still going to work just fine. And so that gives us an opportunity to ink. And I'm going to use my new little thingy. If you saw my Michaels haul video, you would have already seen that I got these. And um, it's a little warm in here at the moment with this sweater on. But... I noticed in the last couple of videos that um, my arms were kind of gross looking from the, all the needle sticks and hospitals. So, um, trying to cover them. They're very colorful. <laughs> Try to cover them up so you won't have to look at them. All right, so we've got that part done. Now, I thought I'd add this to the first signature of the Betty. If it's not too thick, which I'm thinking it's probably going to be. But, what I'm going to do is, it's going to it's gonna lay down on this one. And this is going to be a pocket as well. And so, I'm going to figure that I want about that much. So, that is just about. Um, a little over three quarters. Well, we'll just do three quarters and see how that works. Okay, um, Martha's 
skewer scoreboard <clears throat> and I what I did was this was one sheet of digital and it was already divided into these two halves so I just folded it since I was going to have to back this anyway I just folded folded it over like this so uh, it's what it's going to do it's going to go right in there is my my theory okay now oh bless you there we go so <clears throat> guys I'm just burning it up I'm sorry um, so what we're going to have to do is uh, move the scoreboard <laughs> first off going to put it right down here. Um, and glue. Now first, and I've moved things around a little bit, so <clears throat> some things, and I might have to move them back because it's not, doesn't seem like it's going to be very convenient this way. Not as much as I had hoped. So, I'm just going to find my center. Okay, it should be about right there. And I'm doing this because it, every time I try to eyeball it, my eyeballs don't do the trick. So, that's the center right there. And my jumpy hands are not helping matters. That doesn't look like enough, but yeah, it, it's fine. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm going to take this little bit and do that. That Edith trick. I just pull that right out. Um, and let me see. I need to erase my little line there. All right, and I'm gonna cover that up. Oh, excuse me. So, cover that little spot up. Okay, that works. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and wonder if I want to do decorative edges. But it's a pocket. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just see how that's going to look. gonna go right there <clears throat> still kind of large I think I'm gonna cut this off a little bit guys let's see if that was enough it's a little wide too yeah <clears throat> excuse me so, I won't bother with rounding the corners on this one. Alright. I'm gluing over here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm gluing. And I'm going to glue it on three sides. And I hope everyone is doing well today. And this is being filmed on Friday, so I hope everyone's gonna have a good weekend maybe something fun to do now that we can start thinking like that again and get out of the house we were supposed to, supposed to go 
to a, a restaurant um, almost an hour away to celebrate my aunt's birthday. Her mm -mm, 79th. Is that right? I think so. And that means I'm getting old too. Because <laughs> she's just 13 years older than I am. So I'll be 66. Ooh, it's coming up quick too. Um, but unfortunately she had to go into the hospital herself for some maintenance. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is going to work. You know, I could put it like that. I was going to put it inside there, but I think, um, yeah, I am going to put it in there. I don't care. It's too late. It is too late. So, we won't. <laughs> It'll just go like that. Same difference, really. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, get this glued with this noisy glue bottle. And you know, this barely arts. I I really used it a lot, and it's just still got glue in it. It's lasting forever. Okay, so that's on there, and then that's going to be on there, and um, I'm going to make sure that's glued down well, so it won't impede anything that wants to that I want to slide down the back, because I want that to be this to be a pocket too. That's my thoughts. Okay, so. Real quickly, I'm going to glue, and I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I did go a little bit ahead, but as you know, I'm a very slow crafter. And I'm going to try my best to explain to you what I've done and um, how you can do it. As I try to put this pin back in the glue. Okay. So... What I've done, I've done a flip out. That would be what it was would be called. And um, the glue. Nah, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. <laughs> I'll get the glue top on later. But um, so this is another piece of that. Um, um, little bag that my silverware was in in the hospital. So, this is attached to this. So, this whole thing is going to flip at the same time. Let me put a little bit more glue right here. Okay. Now, I have a punch that punches out this size circles. And I have another punch that punches this small circle. So, I just made sure it was on good cardstock, okay? Then I used my um, 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 eyelet setter to attach the eyelet to this envelope right here. And this envelope, see it's one of those little envelopes I got from Michael's and, my, and I died. Looks cute, doesn't it? Okay, and this is a little... Actually, it's the what punched out of the paper that I punched, a, a, a border punch. And it was the part that uh, punched out of it. And I thought it made a nice little side trim there, kind of going with this red and the other red tones in the, the journal. And I'm going to put this here. Um, I would, I think it needs something behind it, but I don't, I, I couldn't decide what. So, we're going to just go with it like that, because I don't want to make a whole big deal <laughs> take forever uh, to do that. But I am going to, um, I think, I am going to put a butterfly 
on there uh, up here somewhere and I don't know you think that's too big do I need to bring in some of these colors maybe Ooh, how about this little dragonfly is my light on? yeah my lights on okay that's a little better mm-hmm I think that's cute and this is one of those that um, washi vellum like and I've got glue on my finger <laughs> let's see if I can do it without my little pokey tool that's the official term for the, for the thing that has got the pointy end okay that's bothering me I've got to get the glue off my finger it's bad enough I've got ink on them. But, uh, you know, you get messy when you craft. So, I'm going to have to get that tool. Uh, well, don't know where it is. So, let's see if I can do it with some, I started to say pliers, with tweezers. Uh, I think pliers will be an overkill. Okay. I just started this film too soon, didn't I? And I didn't set a timer. Bad crafter. Bad YouTuber. Okay. There we go. It came off. Very nicely. Now... I'm going to try to squeeze it in over here because we know there's going to be something going in there. And it will probably be just one of those little tea cards that um, I used earlier. Okay. That'll do me. Maybe. Come on now. Stick. And for this, this is going to be my, my closure. So, I left this open in order to attach the twine there. And I know I've got too much, but okay. And then it's just going to wrap around the little dooley. Sure it is, Sheila. <laughs> For sure. Come on now. That's not how I want it to go, though. I want it to go. might be a little too thick but I kind of wanted that texture all right that's good enough and then I might put a little dangle on there <laughs> okay maybe that would be too much I don't know okay so uh, come on stick down and get my fabric tack and fix this a little bit right here didn't stick right okay so there we've got that and since this is still up you know what I'm going to do we'll see if I can get some doily under there yeah I don't need that okay I also have some snippet but it's got the white lace okay this is going to do it for now get this all stuck down and fabric tags are good, good with that as well it will glue paper to paper as well 
<clears throat> it usually grabs quickly. Okay, so we don't need a little tag here. We're going to need a little tag here, and we're going to need a big tag here. So, let me look over here and see what I've got already made that I might put in there. Now, oh, that would be too big and too much. Okay. Got another one of these corner thingies I might use there. Okay. Stamp cards. Don't need that. Okay. Here are my tags. I I think that that will be fine. I've got this one. got a stamp card in that little pocket there. Whew. Yeah, let's don't do that. Now we could just do a craft one and decorate it. In the wrong place. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm thinking that might be okay. So I'll put a well tail tag on it, but this needs to dry first. And I think I will probably just put a label. And this this half of the doily. Let me get the good side. Okay. Uh, I like this one better. And it's just about lunchtime, and I can't believe how tired I am already. I did. Um, plant a hydrangea this morning and uh, that's not as easy to do as it once was but I, I, I took my time and and uh, I think I got the hole big enough because that's the main thing is um, you know making sure you've got enough room around it and um, the little garden that I planted it in, I named Pick Heaven years ago. Years. I'm, a, I'm not going to try to pull that up. I'm just going to cut it just a little bit more. I wish I'd put it under it slightly. But crafting on the fly, it's still, hmm. Huh. Duh, Sheila. <laughs> yeah, I know I should probably use the stick glue, but this will be fine. Just get enough on it, enough little places, and hold it down. It'll be fine. Put it on the right way. Okay. Dab up that excess. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then a tag. And as you may remember, if you've watched 
some of my earlier videos, these um, well tail tags have been cut from um, uh, with a silhouette cameo. So um, if you have one of those, you can go to the um, uh, silhouette store and pick up the uh, file you know they're very inexpensive 99 cents usually and um, cut you some out and I try to cut a variety when I do it you know you can just stick different papers down or you can just do one paper at a time if you've got the time okay I've got this pulled over to me but I'm just gluing it down and making sure I've got it even. Okay. And I'm going to just glance to see. Yeah, we're filming. I'm trying to stay right around in here because I know that's where the middle is, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So this will just about take care of that page. I seem to be alternating between my dauber and my sponge. Okay. So there we go. There we go. So this will open like this. And I think that this is light enough to journal on. I think you can use a pen and journal on this just fine. And, of course, we've got to put something in there. Uh, I'll probably have to make it because I don't think I've got anything that will fit already made. And, um, and a little card there. I'm going to stick that down better. So what do you think? I think it's turned out cute. And like I said, I'm sure somebody else has done it. Probably better. And um, you know, I ne no two crafters are going to do it exactly alike. But I like it. I do. I hope you do too as well. So, for now, take care. Stay well. And Hugs and kisses until we meet again. Bye-bye.